Hello again, second graders. So we are going to be working on our math story for today. Please make sure that you have tried to solve the problem on your own before watching this video. So our problem that I posted today says, Ron is picking blueberries. He picks 75 blueberries on Monday. He picks 25 blueberries on Tuesday. On Wednesday, he uses 51 blueberries to make a pie. How many blueberries does Ron have now? I am going to solve this problem three different ways today, three of the ways that we use most often in our class to hope that that can help you check your own work to make sure you got to the correct answer. Now, this unit of math stories is our new two-step word problem unit. So we already know that there are going to need to be two different steps, two distinct equations that will have to be solved. So looking at this problem, the first thing that I notice is that he has 75 blueberries on Monday. 75 blueberries on Monday. So I've circled my number and I underlined my label just to help me think. 75 blueberries Monday. On Tuesday, he picks 25 blueberries. 25 blueberries. Now, I know that logically, if he starts with some blueberries and picks more blueberries, that I need to add those two numbers together to find the total. So that is going to be step one of solving this problem is adding our first two numbers. So like I said, I'm going to solve this problem a couple different ways. The first way I want to do is drawing place value blocks. So first I'm going to draw the 75 blueberries that he started off with. So in order to do that, I'm going to draw my base 10 blocks. I'll draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens, seven tens, seven rods, and then my five ones. One, two, three, four, five. So there is the 75 right there. Now, if he picks 25 more blueberries and I'm adding those on, I need to draw 25 more to my picture. So I'm going to draw another two groups of 10, one, two, and I'm going to draw another five ones. One, two, three, four, five. Notice that I set those up on top of each other because it helps us as we move toward that vertical addition and subtraction to see them on top of each other with my tens on top of my tens and my ones on top of my ones. Now, as I said, I need to add those two numbers together to find his total. So all I have to do is count up what I have starting with my tens. I've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Now we have to add in our ones. So I was at 90, now I'm gonna count my ones. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So right now he is at 100 blueberries. So I'm gonna write that down for myself. So I remember he has 100 blueberries. But something else happened in this problem. We're not done yet. This is our two step problem. So this was step one, adding up how many blueberries he picked. But now I need to go through and see what he does next. If I look back at my problem, it says that on Wednesday he uses 51 blueberries. So that keyword right there is that he uses them. If he uses 51 of those blueberries, I need to get rid of them. I need to subtract them out. So I need to take the 100 blueberries he has right now from his picking and subtract out the 51 that he uses to make his pie. Now, continuing with the base 10 pieces, I am going to cross out to subtract. So I have 100, I need to get rid of 51. So I'll start with my ones and I'll cross out one, one. Now I need to cross out that 50, that five groups of 10. So I'm gonna start down here and cross out five of them. One, two, three, four, five. So I had the 100 blueberries, then I got rid of the 51. Now all I have to do is count up to find my total. So here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40. Those are the only tens I have left is 40. Now I need my ones. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49 blueberries. So our answer is 49 blueberries. Now in class, we really, really focus on making sure to include a label in every answer, not just saying 49, but making sure that we have 49 blueberries. And students, you'll also know that one other important part of our math story is that we have an answer, but then we also include the equation. And these equations have gotten more complicated with our two-step problems because this equation would be the 75 that we started with plus the 25 more that he picked, but then we need to subtract that 51. So our equation would end up being 75 
plus 25 minus 51, which is going to equal the 49. So just like when we do our math stories in school, I have my work here, my picture. I have an answer with a label and my full equation represented. So this was method number one, using our place value blocks to help. Now I'm going to erase that so that I can show you method number two. Another thing that we use a lot in our class is open number lines. So that is the second strategy I'm going to show you today. So I'll start with step one. I'm going to draw my open number line. Just a big empty line with an arrow on either side. Now, step one of the problem again said that he picked 75 blueberries and then he picks 25 more. And as we said, if he's picking more, we need to add them together. So I'm going to start with the number 75 on my open number line. When we are using open number lines, we jump by tens first and then by fives or ones. So if I'm adding 25 to it, I need to add two jumps of 10 and then a jump of five. So if I'm at 75 right now, I'm going to add one jump of 10 and then my second jump of 10. So again, I start at 75, I do a plus 10 jump and a plus 10 jump, and I need to label where I land every time. So if I was at 75 and I add one jump of 10, that gets me to 85, and my next jump of 10 will get me to 95. But I'm not done yet because he picked 25 more, so I need a jump of five. You can either do one jump of five or you can do five jumps of one either way. But of course, the jump of plus five is more efficient, is a quicker way to do it. And I know in my head that 95 plus five is going to get me to 100 blueberries. So that's where we are right now. We started at 75, we added 25 more by doing a jump of plus 10, plus 10, and then five more, which got us to 100 blueberries. But yet again, this is a two-step problem. So the next thing we need to do is subtract out those 51 that he used to bake his pie. In order to do that, I'm going to draw a second number line underneath. Now, we just landed at 100. So 100 is going to be our starting number. But when we are subtracting, we will jump backwards, which means my 100 needs to be on the far side of my number line where my bigger numbers go. So I'm gonna put 100 all the way on the right side, and this time we are going to jump backwards by tens and ones. So again, we're at 100 blueberries right now, and he uses 51 blueberries. So I'm going to jump back 51, and just like before, I will use jumps of 10 and then jumps of one. So I'm at 100 now, and I'm going to start jumping back my five jumps of 10. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. And then of course in these ones, it is going to say minus 10 instead of plus 10. And just like last time, I need to label where I land on the number line every time. So I was at 100, 100 minus 10 is 90, minus another 10 gets me to 80, 70, 60, 50. This is where those skip counting skills become really important. So again, I was at 100, there's my jumps back of 10, but he didn't just use 50 blueberries for the pie, he used 51. So I need to do one jump backwards of one. I was at 50 and 50 minus one will get me to 49 blueberries. So again, this was a different method, but it got me to the exact same answer of 49 blueberries. And again, I would include my answer with a label, 49 blueberries, and my equation would be the exact same. I still started with 75, I added 25 to that, then took away the 51 he used to get me to the 49. So here is method number two, the open number lines. And just like I mentioned before, we have the work on top, an answer with a label, and then the equation. All right, here comes the final way. This is our standard algorithm of addition and subtraction, the vertical addition and subtraction that many of you parents at home watching this are probably much more familiar with. And we have been working on it in class, so we are definitely moving towards using that every single time. But we've got our 75 blueberries that he picks on Monday and the 25 more. So this time we're going to set it up vertically. I'm going to do 
my 75 on top plus 25 on the bottom. When we add and subtract, we always have to start with our ones digits. Now, I know that 5 plus 5 is 10, but this is my ones column, and I can't put a group of 10 into my ones column. In the number 10, there are zero ones, and there is one group of 10, so I have to move that one group of 10 over into my tens column. So here's that one group of 10. So I had 7 plus 1 more gets me to 8, plus 2 more gets me to 10. So I end up with a 10 down there, which turns my number into 100. So right now, he picked 100 blueberries altogether. Again, same numbers as before, same answer, just a different way to show the work. Now we need to take those 100 blueberries that he had, and we need to subtract out the 51. The most important part of setting up this equation is that your ones are on top of your ones, your tens are on top of your tens, and your hundreds are on top of your hundreds. If you need to draw lines going down to separate your place values, absolutely do that. If that helps you keep your lines straight and know exactly where you are, because this is going to get tricky here in a second. So when we do this, we still again start with our ones. So I take a look at my ones column over here, zero minus one. Well, if I have zero, I can't take away one from it. So as we say in class, we have more on the floor, so we have to go next door. Unfortunately, there's nothing for me to borrow next door. So I have to move over next door again. So here's my one, and I will cross out that one group of 100, and I know that a group of 100 is the same as 10 tens. So now I end up with 10 tens in my tens column. All right, but I still don't have enough to do zero minus one. I still have more on the floor, so I have to go back to next door and borrow from that group that I just created. So if I'm borrowing one group of those tens, I'll end up with nine tens left, and one group of 10 is equal to 10 ones. So now I finally have my 10 ones up here. Now I can do 10 minus one, which we all know is nine, and now we need to pay close attention and remember, we now only have nine tens here. So we need to do nine minus five is four, and that is where we get the 49 from. Don't forget that these are not numbers here, they are just part of our lining up our equation. So here is strategy number three to get the exact same answer of 49 blueberries. And just like before, I'm going to have an answer with a label and my equation of 25 plus 75 minus 51 to equal that 49. So there you go, that is our daily math story. This is exactly what we do every morning in our own classroom. So I hope that you are able to use at least one of these methods correctly. I always encourage you all to try a second method if you are able to do the first one successfully. So again, here is what I would expect our math story answer to look like. And we will keep going on our math stories every day. So I challenge you to make sure that you try them every day before watching these videos. And I'll see you again tomorrow for our next math story. Have a great rest of your day.